My phone sucks balls, my phone sucks balls. It always turns itself off because it thinks the button is pressed because there's a hardware defect. Defect. Did it turn it off? No, not yet. Anyway, hello. Ah. Look at those awful mattresses. I hate them. I also have one in my room. And now, look at my brand new old bike. Yeah, that's mine. I just bought it from the head of the Erasmus here in Bristol, the ESN. Um, he's not the head anymore because he's going home and so he has to sell his stuff. And I bought the bike. For 70 quid. Which is 70 pounds in case you didn't know that. I found that out two years ago when I was in London. Anyway, um, yeah, it's like the brand is okay. I like the brand. I also have one of these, which now my brother has. Um, and it looks cool and it has those discs for the brakes, which is nice. Uh, but that's the only positive thing I can say. I, I mean, it's, it still works. I, I rode all the way from his place down to my place and I did not have an accident. Also, I was riding really slowly because the back tire is like, there's no air in it. So I need to pump that up, but I don't know where. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna find that out tomorrow. All the bike shops which were on the way to were already closed. Um, yeah. Um, it, it, it's, it's an old bike and if you look at that, I can do that, you shouldn't be able to do that. Also changing gears, like usually with my bike I only change the front gear, like here. With this bike I will only change the back gear because when changing the front gear I almost break my fingers because it and I might break the, the thing so mm, better not change it better change it on the back side and if you're riding slowly because it goes like this at the back it also changed the gear so that's really annoying but I found out that if you press harder with your legs it doesn't do that anymore so yeah I'm not 100% happy with the bike obviously because it's well, not the newest anymore. Um, but I think with the time, oh, my hands are all dirty because of, well, the, uh, uh. Um, anyway, I was at, I was telling you about, yeah, with time, I think I'll get used to it. Um, I just have to pump up the tire, put the seat higher. Ah, that was almost a rhyme, um, but a bad one. And then maybe it will suit me. I mean, after all, I'll, I'll only have it for a year, so I don't need a very good bike. Also, I need to get myself a helmet and a D-lock because Bike theft is a thing here in Bristol, is what he told me. So that's why we are here in this cage. <laughs> it's the bike storage of my home. And yeah, also because of bike theft, I don't want to have the best bike, then it's just more likely to be stolen. Um, and just in case I really don't like that bike, then I'll, I'm just gonna sell it again. I mean, now is the beginning of term. Everybody wants to have a bike. So if I don't like it and I'll find that out within the next one or two weeks, if I don't like it in two weeks time, then I'm just gonna sell it again and get myself another one from a bike shop. Um, yeah. I, I saw at the bike shop there was one for for 95 quid which which looked really cool um, 
But also that one did not look so bad, and in real life it, it's 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 that. It's just yeah, destroy it and then sell it, because that's how you make money, right? No, okay. Great. So I need a break now. I wanted to go to ultimate training of these Kubiskits, but it's too late now and the sun will go down any minute and yeah. So I'm gonna just go upstairs and leave my bike here and hope that it's not stolen. And you! Make your back. Oh man, my hand! Look at that! All black. I don't like it. But. I need my key now. You make it back. <laughs>